Is this the chef, Cheryl Fulber? Yes, it is. Well, thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, live on the Valley BB Show. We really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. Well, you're a James Beard award-winning chef, and that's no small thing to smoke at. That's a big deal. It was a pretty big deal. I was I was very honored to receive that award. It is. It's a legendary award, and not every chef has that award. When you walk in those big shoes, do you like want to cook better or something like that? What, how do you feel? Um, I suppose it maybe it gives me a little more confidence. It was a, a definite surprise, and it's a yeah, it's a nice, it's a very nice honor to have. Well, great. Well, I'm glad chefs like you are getting those kind of awards because as my audience, and I age because we're baby boomers, today you're going to tell us about a new study that shows how boomers, you know, are not too sure of how to maintain a healthy lifestyle and head into retirement. But we think that you can give us some direction. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I'd love to do that, Valder. I've uh, partnered with Kellogg's and the pre the publishers of Prevention Magazine to share the results of the survey you mentioned that showed that most boomers know more about their finances than they do about a healthy lifestyle. So I've come up with some healthy tips to share with you. And the first one is having breakfast. Breakfast is absolutely key. And many people think they're too busy or they don't have time to cook. And some even think that it promotes weight loss to skip breakfast, but um, it, that's just simply not true. It's really, really important to start the day with a healthy breakfast, and you can have something as simple and easy as a bowl of whole grain cereal. So what I have here is a bowl of Raisin Bran Omega-3, and I'm serving it with some fat-free milk, which gives me a nice boost of protein and calcium. Calcium is something that most Americans aren't getting enough of. And my cereal has whole grains and raisin and flax seeds in here. And this gives me lots of fiber in the whole grains. And I have antioxidants and fiber in the raisins. And then the flax seeds are loaded with omega-3s, which are an essential fatty acid. And that means it's essential we get them from our diet because our body doesn't produce omega-3s. And so I've got this bowl of cereal and milk, and I'm going to add to that with a little bit, uh, a bowl of fresh berries, which kicks up the antioxidants and the fiber even more, and I have the perfect anti-aging breakfast. Even delicious. You make it sound really <laughs> delicious. So can we eat? Smaller amounts because we're boomers do, you know, when we were younger, you know, the, the cereal bowl was huge. So as boomers, can we eat uh, just a, a, a reduced amount and still be healthy? Yeah, absolutely. It really is important uh, to pay attention to your portion size. And that's not only for boomers, for the whole family. Um, it's really, really important. And um, so it, I recommend having three meals and two snacks throughout the day to kind of balance uh, our meals and our portion sizes to be sure we're getting the right amount. Will you lay this out in Prevention Magazine for us, or is there a website where we can go in case anyone didn't grasp all of that? Grasp oh, sure. That. Sure. You can go to Kellogg's.com, and there's a nutrition section that shares uh, more healthy lifestyle tips as well as the breakfast ideas that I mentioned this morning. And where can we more find out more about you, Chef Cheryl? Oh, I have a website as well at CherylForberg.com. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for giving us that inspiration. I love people who talk to boomers because that's <laughs> who my audience is. Thank you so much, Cheryl Forberg, Thanks, for Thanks being for a guest me. on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for guest on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Guest on the Valder BB Show. Appreciate it. Thank you.